George was schooled in Montreal, Canada, becoming fluent in French as well as Ojibwe and English. He was noted in Minnesota for being, as his brother Stephen claimed, one of the first two black children born in the state. Stephen also described them as the first white children born there, as the Ojibwe classified everyone who was non-native as white. In 1837 George Bonga tracked down a suspected murderer, an Ojibwe named Chagawa Skung, and brought him back to Fort Snelling. The ensuing criminal trial was reputedly the first in Minnesota, and the Ojibwe man was acquitted. George Bonga was described as standing over six feet tall and weighing 200 pounds. He served as an interpreter, and was believed to have acted as a guide for Governor Louis Cass. Well respected in the region, Bonga and his wife opened a lodge on Leech Lake after the fur trade declined. 